to Michael. Hi, Ben, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? You all right? Yeah, very well, thank you. Um, can you begin to describe uh, your emotions on Saturday as that match and your, your role in it uh, unfolded? Uh, it, was, uh, it was an incredible experience, to be honest. I don't think like words would do it justice. It was absolutely amazing. Um, like the fans and the the stadium just oh, it was electric. It was incredible. It was something that I could oh, <laughs> yeah, it was can't describe it. It was ridiculous. Yeah, it was unbelievable. What were you thinking? Obviously, you get thrown into the action maybe a bit earlier than you would have thought. And before you know yeah. it, you're getting over the trial line. When you come back off and you're sitting on the bench, what were you thinking to yourself at that stage? <laughs> I think I, I think I walked off. I just saw one of the lads. They were like, I was it. I was like, best 10 minutes of my life. <laughs> <It's> incredible. <laughs> uh, I think uh, if anything, actually getting on like that was was good because it sort of took away the the nerves and the angst of waiting to like the last you know 20 minutes and and so on so just to be thrown in at the deep end was almost like a good thing you just go on and, and do your job and try and get do the best for the team and it's been a little bit like that in terms of coming into the Scotland fold generally you've been called up competition at scrum halves really fierce for Scotland but you've come in a fresh face and straight into the squad and then straight into the action it's it would appear from the outside to have been a little bit of a whirlwind for you uh yeah I think that the uh the coaching staff have been brilliant with me and the playing group ever since I uh stepped foot in camp um the, the lads have been amazing um and the way that everyone sort of got behind me and, and helped me to to learn everything and make sure I know my, my roles and fit in and get to know everyone has, has been fantastic. And I've absolutely loved it every second of it. Um, it's, yeah, been a dream come true. It was incredible. I bet you can't wait to get down to Wales and hopefully be a, a part of it all over again. Yeah, exactly. No, that's the, I mean, that's our fo main focus now. Um, yeah, that, it was brilliant, but it, it doesn't mean anything if it's not backed up with, with a result. Uh, the following week so I think our main focus now is to to push on and to try and uh, get a win down at the Principality. Good man well done Ben. Thank you very much. Hi Ben what kind of reaction have you had from your family and friends or on social media and what's it meant to you? Uh, yeah it's meant everything to me um, yeah my, obviously my fr friends and family were, were over the moon and they were incredibly proud uh, like myself and to get the the warmth from the Scottish fans has been been incredible and it's something that I really appreciate um, and it's meant so much to, to pull on that jersey but also to get some of the messages that I've had from fans and things has been incredible and yeah it's, it's, it's just amazing um, yeah it's been brilliant and the support's been incredible. And when you make a, an impact like that so early on in your, your Scotland career there's a lot to live up to now isn't there? <laughs> yeah but that's uh that's the job and hopefully as a team we can keep keep delivering on our like i said earlier our main focus is to, to to back it up and to to do everything we can to make sure that we we put ourselves in the position to to win next week you feel that there is something special building amongst the squad that you've come into yeah i think um as a playing group it's a very tight-knit group um everyone's been like just with me incredibly friendly um and, and and helpful but also from coming into that environment I think you can see how close the squad actually is um and how good the bond is between the players and and that's something that um I think the coaching staff but also the the playing group has really bought into and 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 it's shown on the pitch how close a unit uh we are as a team thank you bye Anyone else from broadcast? Move on to written. Ben, can I ask you, um, the, Scot the, the Scottish connection, it's your granddad's from Leith. I'm from Leith. Is it from Leith and Edinburgh. Is that, is that the connection? Yeah, he's from Edinburgh, yeah. 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 And, uh, but he moved down. I mean, he doesn't live, he, he didn't live up here. I mean, he, did you spend much time up here when you were growing up, or did you? You know, the many. No, my, my, my grandpa was born, was born in Scotland. Mo pretty much all my family history was uh, was in Scotland, um, and then my grandpa got a job down at a university, being a lecturer in England, um, which is when sort of my family moved down down south to England. And yeah, I was obviously born in England and, and spent most of my life down there. So yeah, but uh, my 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 old man and stuff made sure that I did come up 
um, every so often and, and came up and, and went around Edinburgh and things and up to Aviemore and places. So, yeah, I've, I love being up here. You know, it's been an amazing experience for me. Yeah, and, and the call when it came from Scotland or the first time they got in touch, was that out of the blue or did you, um, you know, how did, how did that happen? How did, you know, how did this kind of connection happen? Uh, no, I've, I've always, so when I was younger, um, like sort of under 14s, 15s, I did Scottish exiles um, with like Rob Riley and stuff down at Mount St. Mary. So I, I, I've always known that I've had that sort of um, Scottish connection and, and wanted to try and go down that route. And then um, I, I think um, Gregor and things have been in touch uh, with me over the, sort of the last six months and things and spoke to me and, and we've had Zoom calls and stuff. So that was, I sort of knew it was a, it was an, it was an option and that they were watching me for the last sort of, six months which was obviously incredibly exciting and honor just to get a call from from Gregor to be to potentially even be involved and then when I got the call um to say I was in the squad I couldn't quite believe it it was uh, yeah it was amazing um so to be here I do have to pinch myself sometimes and be like oh my god like it's just some of the players and the staff and how amazing it's all been is is incredible I'm very proud to to be here yeah, I mean, so I take it. It sounds you're saying it was a, it was an instant decision. You know, you think about playing down in England. It probably isn't ideal for your for your club and stuff. But I take it that that wasn't really a factor as far as you're concerned. No, no. the second that I got that phone call from Gregor, he was like, you, you know, you can have sort of 24, 40 hours to think about it. I was like, I don't need more than two seconds. Away. I was like, yes, please. Um, it's, it'd be an absolute uh, honour to play for Scotland. So I didn't it, I didn't have to think about it for at all. Um, you know, it to to play for Scotland is is a dream come true, and it's been an incredible experience for me. Yeah. Look, just last one from me. I was just going to ask you about, um, you know, that part. You know, you go through Darcy goes through the hole, and you're you're on his shoulder. I mean, what's going through your mind? Is it? Did you have enough time to think? Make sure you don't drop. I mean, make sure you don't drop this, or has it just happened to you and you're, you're over? <laughs> no, no, I didn't think that. I just knew that. I know. I know. So when I passed the to, to Hoggy and he kicked out on the overs, I, overs line, I thought. Uh, we might be on here and then Darcy cut a pass line. I was just sprinting as fast as I could to make sure I was with him. Um, and yeah, luckily, I guess you run that line probably 50 times a year and don't get it. But, you know, Darcy was, his footwork was amazing and and put, put the pass on the money. So uh, the feeling was, yeah, I mean, words don't do justice what it was like. It was, it was amazing. Thanks, Ben. It's all right. And were you surprised you, that you've come through as quickly as you have? I mean, there, there are, I mean, obviously there's, there, there are um, several, several scrum halves in, in front of you who've, who've played quite recently. Uh, you, have you been surprised at the, at the quickness of your, 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 your progression? Um, look, I think I, I believe in my ability. Um, as soon as I came into camp, I did everything in my power to make sure that I tried to get to know the lads the best that I could, made sure that I learned the systems and, and, and the plays and the way that Gregor wanted to play the game and, and really bought into to the environment and tried to do everything that I could and more to, to give myself a chance to be selected in that first match. And uh, yeah, it, it was, it was an honor just to get picked. So um, no, I think that, I think look, you, you work as hard as you can to give yourself a chance and, you know, you just got to go for it and believe in yourself when you when you get the opportunity to play. And which of your family members were at the game on, on Saturday? Um, my mum, dad and brother, um, and then my girlfriend and uh, some of her family. So it was it was special to have them there. Um, I wish my, my grandpa could have still been alive to see it. I think he would have been honestly ecstatic. Um, so... I don't think you quite believe it, to be honest. <laughs> um, but no, I think it was it was a proud moment for for me and my family, and and they were, yeah, they were so happy after the game. Uh, and what was your grandfather's name? Uh, James. Or, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, people called him Jim. And uh, so, so, and his surname was White, was it? Yeah. And and when, did he pass away when you were quite young, or when, when were you? Uh, yeah, probably about. Oh God! Uh, yeah, a while ago now, probably okay, six, yeah. six years ago, or something. Yeah. And just briefly, you mentioned your girlfriend Jodie. Obviously, you know, quite a high-ranking tennis player. Does that help um, being with another sports person to kind of understand the mindset and things like that? Do you guys help each other out? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, it's 
Jody's been amazing at uh, supporting me uh, through things. And obviously, I tried to do my best for, for her as well. Um, it's great to have us both sort of doing, doing what we love and uh, having a, the ability to talk to each other about our experiences and, yeah, how to deal with, with pressures and, and training loads and stuff and just to talk through different situations and have her thoughts and things and my thoughts is, is brilliant. And, no, I mean, she's been amazing at supporting me through, through things, yeah. That's great. Thanks, Ben. Ben, I'm feeling you're a, you're a big Stoke City fan. Um, I'm just wondering if, uh, if the Brown decision to to play for Scotland had any any influence or any bearing on your your own decision. Pardon? I'm just wondering if Jacob Brown's decision to play for <laughs> had any influence on you, the the Stoke speaker. Yeah, he's doing all right, isn't he? He's on yeah. fire at the minute. So uh, no, <laughs> uh, no. I mean, he, yeah, he's been amazing for Stoke this year and stuff. So. Uh, well, yeah, it's nice to see uh, a fellow Scott in the Stoke team. Yeah, it's brilliant. Cheers. So, hi. Ben, can I just quickly ask, I'm just interested, I read somewhere, was you, you might not know the answer, was your granddad from Leith, the Leith part of Edinburgh, do you know that? Or is, is uh, yeah, he was, well, he lived in a tenement just off the Royal Mile for, right. for quite a long time, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, it's just, it's just, I read somewhere that said Leith, and I'm from well, Leith, he, so I was just, in, I was worked, just interested. He worked in, uh, well, yeah, he, he actually studied here at Harriet Watt University, um, yeah. engineering, and then went and worked on the, the docks and stuff. So yeah. Yeah. so, yeah, he might have been there for a bit. Yeah, excellent. You've got a few, a few free pints in Leith last night if you'd uh, gone down. Just on that. <laughs> All right, brilliant. Thanks, guys. Cheers, thanks, thanks a lot. It's all right, no worries. Cheers, Ben. Cheers, Ben. Barney, you're from Upmarket Joppa. What are you trying I to say? I am now. <laughs> What's about this leaf?